I would love a great liberal president. I would love a change in the system. I think America deserves a new system, a better system. Um, the unfortunate thing is, is that we, we keep seeing the DNC push these candidates that are just, they're cronies. They're, they're all about, you know, they're all, they're career politicians. And, and they're, they're an idea of what being a Democrat, it's, it's very much, it doesn't, it doesn't fit into what, what progressives want anymore. Progressives want to see change. And people like Kamala Harris and Hillary Clinton, yes, they're women. Yes, and the people who, who didn't vote for them because they're women, that's not what happened. Nobody said, I'm not going to vote for Kamala or Hillary because they're a woman. They didn't vote for Kamala or Hillary because they're terrible. That is the truth. And I'm not saying Trump is any better, okay? I don't want the liberals coming in my chat saying, well, do you want Trump? I'm saying that the DNC, if they truly wanted to beat Trump, they should have found someone better than him that could have beat him, that could have gotten Democrat voters excited. Democrat voters were not excited to vote for Hillary. Democrat voters were not excited to vote for Kamala. Republican voters were really excited to vote for Trump. Trump was able to build a, and honestly, it has nothing to do with what I like. It's all based on marketing. I'm talking strictly marketing here. Marketing and PR means everything in politics. Politics is no different than Hollywood. I wouldn't know. I worked there. I, I, worked, I worked for different media outlets, okay? Both liberal and conservative and alternative. They all use the same fear tactics. They all use the same marketing, the same PR, and the same entertainment industry tactics. It's all the same. It's an industry for entertainment. It sucks that it, it controls where a lot of our policies go, but that's just how it works. Trump was a better marketer than Hillary, and he was a better marketer than Kamala. And the sad part is, is the DNC flopped this election because they thought they already won. They got lazy. The only thing they ran with was Kamala basically saying how bad Trump was. She never once said what she was going to do or what she was going to change. As a liberal... That lets me down. I want to know how we're going to change this system, not just what bad stuff Trump did. Because the last four years weren't under Trump. We just saw Biden, who, funny enough, Kamala Harris was right under him. Technically, the past four years belonged to Kamala Harris just as much as they did to Biden. So what are we going to do to change from what has been going on for the past four years, Kamala? And that was never answered. It was completely ignored. That's why Kamala lost. The DNC failed because they pushed someone who wasn't competent for the past four years and then pretended like it wasn't, like she wasn't part of the same system. That, that's, that's where the liberals lost. And the truth is the DNC doesn't care about progress. They don't care about liberal voters. They really don't, and they're showing that. And I know the GOP doesn't care about their voters either. The GOP is, is they, they do not care, but at least they know how to push someone who knows how to market to a fan base. Trump walks into a, a Trump rally, and it's like a freaking concert. It's like you're watching a rock show. You, if the DNC wants to win, and again, I'm not saying who, that I, I, I wanted this election result. What I'm saying is, is if the DNC wants to win, they have to look at what Trump is doing and think, okay, how do we build, what, what, what person can we throw into the ring that's going to have a crowd like this, that's going to get people excited? If your voters are not excited to vote for you, what makes you think you're going to win?